How's it going guys? In this video, we will be talking about my top 5 must-have architecture books for school or architectural practice. The first three books in this list are the books that I used in order to come up with designs from conceptualization to final plan. So here we go. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to show you guys is called Time Saver Standards for Building Types by Joseph DeChiara and Michael J. Crosby. When you need to design a certain building, this is the first book that you will look into to create bubble diagrams and then schematic plans. This book is basically your guide to standard requirements, essential design criteria, and standard measurements you need in order to prepare preliminary designs. Okay, so what I like about this book is that it is divided into general building classifications like residential, educational, cultural, etc, etc, you know, all those stuff. And within those classifications, it is further divided into more specific building types. For example, under recreation and entertainment, we could see bowling alleys. So in here, we could find various information such as the width of a bowling lane, the building depth, and also the spatial requirements of a bowling alley like a promenade, promenade, how do you pronounce it? Did you know that the bowling alley needs a promenade, promenade? You probably did, but I didn't know that. What's a promenade anyway, like some sort of fruit? Anyways, I find this book really helpful when I was in school whenever the teacher just surprises us with a weird ass building typology like Okay class, for this week we are going to design a bowling alley slash funeral home. <laughs> so yeah, your teacher gives you some sort of weird building type like that and just look it up here and then boom problem solved you get the spatial requirements what areas are required for a funeral slash bowling alley thing so yeah this book is super useful for that also if there's like an intruder in your room you could like use this smack the intruder in the head probably kill him so yeah don't don't do that look how thick that is this is probably heavier than thor's hammer man also you could use it as a shield so yeah anyways let's move on to the next book Alright, the next book is Architectural Graphic Standards by Charles George Ramsey and Harold Sleeper. This is the second book that you'll pick up after developing schematic plans. So it'll be your basis for slimlining your drawings into a more accurate and detailed design scheme. In this book, we can find a variety of details ranging from anthropometric data, solar paths, kitchen cabinetry details, wood framing details. It's all in here. So I find this book very useful in situations where I need to create close-up details for working drawings. So most of these books that I'm showing you guys are really, really heavy. So I suggest that you guys just buy like an ebook version of this unless you want to work out and be as ripped as me. 1001, 1002. What am I doing? Okay, next up is Architecture, Form, Space, and Order. The third book in the list. So after using the first two books that I told you guys about, we now have an overall idea of what measurements and details you will use. Now it is time to consolidate all those information and put them all together. Then bring in a little design. I don't know what that was. Anyway, bring in a little design and art into the mix. So that's what this book is for. So this book is written by Francis D.K. Ching. He has so many good books about architecture, but I narrowed it down to my two favorite books. Also, these are the only books that I have, so yeah. I find this book super useful because this book focuses a lot on architectural theory, like how to derive designs from shapes, surfaces, linear elements, the unity of opposites, you know, stuff like that. It is a very good reference and has helped me a lot when I was struggling to come up with designs. So to put it simply, this book is like saying, give a man a fish, but you know, instead of fish, like give a man a design and he will make one house teach a man how to design and he will like design for a lifetime or something like that <laughs> that probably didn't make sense but it, you know you get the point so it teaches you the basic foundations for which you will base your design from moving on to the next book a visual dictionary of architecture by again francis dk ching so this book by far is my favorite one from all of the books listed on this here list so this book is probably the reason why i passed the architecture licensure exam also, it is the only book in this list that I have read from cover to cover, which is like a big deal because the only other book that I read from cover to cover is Little Red Riding Hood and The Three Bears. I'm lying. I, I didn't really finish that book either. Anyway, as this book's title implies, 
It is a visual dictionary, meaning that it is like a dictionary with lots of drawings and pictures about architecture. I find this book super helpful because it has the common architectural terms and lingo listed in alphabetical order. And the terms are often explained in brief and easy to understand statements, thus making the information in this book easily retainable or easily memorable. Okay guys, we are down to our last book. So this last book is like a weird book because it's, it's empty, as you can see here. So you guys must be thinking this is one of those Kung Fu Panda things where the scroll is empty, but really it's his reflection on the scroll. It's blank. What? Or like a Mr. Miyagi thing where he teaches Daniel San to wax in and wax out. No! This has no deep meaning like those movies, so this is just a sketchbook. So this is where you write certain infos that you come across in your day-to-day -day life. Information you won't find in books. This is also you write all your design ideas and this is also you write all your also design you write ideas all your and also you write all your design ideas and This is also you write all your design ideas and don't tell yourself that you'll remember it because believe me you won't remember those design ideas so just write it down You guys won't believe how much great ideas I had forgotten because I told myself I would remember it and then 5 minutes later I forgot the idea So yeah sketchbook super important also buy a small one you can carry around in your pocket <laughs> Well, I guess that's the end of our video. Comment down below your favorite architectural books and don't forget to like and subscribe for more architectural videos from me, your boy Lian. <sighs> I literally ran out of breath. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace! <laughs>